Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about very useful pandas functions for everyday data analysis. Today, I will show you how to slice data from pandas data frame. Here, let's talk about iLog and log. The data frame dot iLog function takes as a parameter the rows and column indices and gives you the subset of the data frame accordingly. First of all, let's generate a demi data. If you are new to this, you can simply generate a demi data which contains name, birth date, country, etc. using Faker Python library. And then we can just generate a data frame. The data frame contains uh, 10 number of rows and uh, three columns, name, birth date, and country. So from this, uh, I am going to take the first four rows of data and index first to index sort the columns. Uh, just if you wanted to just take the first five rows or four rows from this data and from columns, you can just uh, take, for example, first column, uh, first index column, and up to third index column, which means first and second columns. So this I look is very useful to just slice the data from the data frame, and it takes the rows, index, and the columns. So let's try to see. Uh, just you can create a new data frame, which is uh, sliced from the already existing data or all the data frame. Uh, we use iLock. The iLock, the first uh, is the row, slicing the first four rows, uh, four rows. The index starts from zero up to four. Zero, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So, it is up to four, not including the last uh, index, four. And the column uh, indexing is just taking, for example, first column, that's it, first date, and up to the third column, uh, because when you, when you are slicing, uh, the last uh, index will not be included in the slicing. So this I log takes the first five rows, uh, four rows and uh, the first and second column from the data frame. And when you run this, you can get the first four rows, first row, second row, third row, fourth row. And birth date in uh, country is sliced. So this iLock is very useful to take any data based on the uh, row index and column index. Based on row index and Another useful uh, function of pandas is uh, log. Uh, this log does almost uh, the similar operation as I log function does, but here you can specify exactly which row index you want and also the name of the columns you want in your subset. And instead of passing the index, you just pass a specific uh, or exactly which row index you want to slice or uh, just uh, extract and also uh, specify the name of the columns. This is different from iLock. iLock just uh, take uh, the rows, rows index and the column index, but here you are going to specify at which uh, row index you want to tag and at uh, what column and names you want to uh, tag from that data frame. For this uh, instance, here's, uh, for example, if you want to take second row uh, at index two, not second row, at index two and in, uh, index three now, and at index four. And uh, about the column, if you want to take exactly the name column and words uh, dead column. This is what uh, log does. Not, uh, but, but it, it does similar operation, but it is a little bit uh, different. We are going to specify exactly what we want to 
uh, extract from our data frame, just to specify the exact row index and column and names. So in this case, it's going to extract index, row index at uh, two, at three and four, and from the column just extract uh, name and birth date. So we are going to uh, just get uh, second row, I mean, second at index two, third and fourth uh, index. And from column we get uh, this. So the two very, very useful functions are uh, important for your data analysis. You use those uh, functions for daily uh, data analysis purposes. So uh, learn a lot about data uh, pandas functions because very, very useful. I lock and lock are very useful, especially for data manipulation, uh, data aggregation, and so on. So this is today's uh, top tip uh, tutorials. So next time we will uh, learn another uh, topic. So uh, subscribe, like, share my YouTube channel and stay with us. Thanks for watching today.